So he says, this month of Ramadan is the month to visit the poor, the sick and the needy, and to share their sorrows. And so there is this care and concern we should have for others. And this is one of the feelings we should prepare for in Ramadan and we should have in the month of Ramadan. And it is not by coincidence that the, the motto of the Islamic forum is caring for humanity one soul at a time. And what beautiful words those are. Caring for humanity one soul at a time. And that is the mindset we need to acquire for this month of Ramadan. To, to have this caring and this concern for, for humanity, for everyone. And, and, and most, mostly among them, the believers who are closest to us. So the Prophet Ali wants us to have this care and concern for the believers. And so he said, we should do something now uh, about this care we have. We should show this care and concern. We should demonstrate this care and concern by the things that we do. And he says, it's a month to visit the poor, to visit the sick, to visit the needy, and to share their sorrows, to make it easier for them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this hadith Qudsi, amazing hadith Qudsi, He says, on the Day of Judgment, as He would ask His servants, O oh my servants, I was sick and you didn't visit me. And the servants would say, Ya Rabbal Alameen, O Lord of the worlds, O Allah, how can we visit you? You're the Lord of the worlds. How can you be sick and we visit you? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, Did you not know that my servant so and so was sick, was ill, but you didn't visit him? If you had visited him, you would have found me there. This is the importance. If you had visited him, that sick, ill believer, you would have found me here. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. To show us the importance of visiting people who are ill. Oh my servants, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, I was hungry, but you didn't feed me. The servants would say, Ya Rabbil Alameen, how can we feed you? You are, you are the Lord of the worlds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say, Did you not know that my servant so and so was hungry, was in need of food, but you didn't give them anything. If you had given them food, if you had you'd fed them, you would have found me there. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would address his servants, O oh my servants, I was naked and you didn't clothe me. They would say, Ya Rabbil Alameen, how can we clothe you? And he would say, did you not know of my servant so and so, who was in need of clothing, who was poor and they had these needs? If you had given them clothing, you would have found me there with them. And so the Prophet ﷺ tells us about this month of Ramadan. It is the month to visit the poor, the sick, the needy, and to share with them, to have this concern for them and to do whatever little we can do for them. To remove their sorrows, to remove their pain, their anger, to take care of their needs. The Prophet ﷺ mentions in his hadith, مَن نَفَّسَ عَن مُؤْمِنٍ قُرْبَةً مِن قُرْبِ بِالدُّنْيَا نَفَّسَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ قُرْبَةً مِن قُرْبِ الْآخِرَةِ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام That if you take care of one of the needs, of a believer in this world, in this dunya, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take care of one of your needs on the day of judgment. Subhanallah. Would we not love that on that dreaded day of judgment, when the conditions are so difficult, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take care of our needs, would forgive us, and have mercy on us and turn to us with his kindness, with his lutf. We would love that. And the way to achieve that, the way to get that, the way to receive that 
is to take care of the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world. And Ramadan is a time for that. And so the Prophet ﷺ says, It is the month to visit the poor, the sick, the needy, and to share their sorrows, to take care of them. And I hope that all of us, all of us would strive to do that. Would strive to take care of, of the believers and to take care of people in society. If we know of someone who is poor and who is hungry and we can give them food and we can take care of their needs, whatever their needs are, then rush to do that. This is the way of the Prophet ﷺ. This is the noble heritage and the noble legacy of the Ummah of the Prophet ﷺ, that we would take care of humanity. As those, the words of that wonderful motto says, uh, caring for humanity one soul at a time. And this is what we should all be doing. We should all have this mindset of caring for humanity one soul at a time. The Prophet ﷺ continues in his khutbah for the blessed month of Ramadan. It is the month where the nourishment, the sustenance and the income of believing Muslims increase and they are blessed. Yes, the sustenance for the believers increase in this blessed month of Ramadan. And this is an important point because the, we've heard in the past from several Muslims, they say that their income decreases in the month of Ramadan because they're so busy uh, with fasting and with tarawih and so on that they don't get time to work and to, to, to gain income, to gain material income. And, and they feel that they're losing out in the blessed month of Ramadan because they have to do all these different acts of ibadah. They have to spend time in a masjid, they have to get up early for suhoor to prepare to, for, for fasting. And because they're fasting, they feel tired and they can't do all the things that they do in their work. And then they have to leave work early to get home for iftar in the evening and for maghrib. And then they have to go to the masjid for salat al and Tarawih and so on and so forth. And they say they, they have to spend so much time worshipping Allah in Ramadan that they don't get enough time to work and, and their, their sustenance increase. Some people feel this way, but this is wrong. This is wrong. Because we must remember that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gives us our sustenance. Allah is a razaq هُوَ الرَّزَّاكُ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ In Surah Al-Thariyat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, He is the one who gives us rizq, who gives us sustenance. Our rizq, our sustenance, our providence comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the provider for us. And so when we turn to Him, worshipping Him, He turns to us and He gives us. He opens the doors of His barakah, His blessings and mercy for us. And Ramadan is a time for that. And so the sustenance of the believers increase. And remember, we don't need the sustenance of Allah, the risk of Allah in the 30, 30 or 29 days of Ramadan alone. We need it every day of our lives. And every day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for us. And so don't ever think that because we worship Allah, we serve Allah, and we spend time doing so, that we would lose out from the material things of the dunya. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who takes care of us. And the Prophet alayhi salatu promises us that our nourishment and sustenance and income would increase in this blessed month of Ramadan, the more we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after Ramadan, that blessing, that income and sustenance would continue to flow in our lives because of the great things we do in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam continues in his khutbah. Anyone who invites others to break their fast at iftar will have their sins forgiven and be saved from the fire of hell, and will receive a reward equal to the fasting person without reducing that person's reward in any respect.